Okay, so hi. Good day, guys. So, yeah. I'm Engineer Dapat. So, so, welcome to my tutorials. I'm not that good. <laughs> so, I'm just here to help you guys to be able to cope up with your studies. So, I hope guys na makatulong ako sa inyo kahit pa paano. So, this uh, tutorials are for senior high students and uh, later on with my videos by the way this is my first time making uh, videos here in youtube so yon uh, later on siguro mag upload din ako ng mga videos and tutorials on how to uh, solve engineering problems uh, engineering based problems especially in mechanical engineering so i'm a mechanical engineer and i hope you guys find my uh, page useful sa inyong uh, engineering studies. So, okay guys, so let's start off with uh, presenting my uh, lesson. Well, this is my first uh, tutorial which is the uh, conversion of units. So, uh, hindi ka makakasurvive sa engineering kung hindi ka masyadong mahusay mag uh, convert ng units from English to metric and metric to uh, English or metric to metric English to metric or English to English. So, yun guys, I hope you find this uh, video useful and I hope na maging malaking tulong to sa inyong engineering journey. So, first off, so, okay. So, in this part is I'll be going to uh, give some examples on how we can convert units. So basically, this is we have three examples. One is the uh, simpler one, which is yung mag cancel ka lang and may matitirang isang unit. And the next one is uh, cancellation of two units. So magko convert tayo ng dalawang units. And thirdly, is ito yung mga mahirap and marami dito nag struggle, especially my students kapag hindi nila masyado nakuha yung concept of converting those units are in, that are in squared. Okay, so first off, we have three uh, examples dito, which is the one is the 10 hours to seconds, tapos then 12 meter per second to kilometers per hour, and then lastly is the uh, cm per second square to inches per minute. I hope guys na makatulong talaga ito sa inyo. So, since nandito tayo sa gitna ng pandemic, I hope this will, uh, may you find this one useful. Okay, so, yan. So, let's start. Okay, so, for the first example, which is the hours to seconds, for the example is we have 10 hours to be converted in seconds. Okay, so, we have 10 hours and we convert natin siya sa seconds. The equivalent of seconds in hours is 3,600 seconds and you can see here uh, we have a direct substitution of seconds to hours which is 3,600 seconds okay and then then yun makikita ninyo we have we have we canceled the hours the hour unit so ang natira na lang sa atin is the seconds so when we compute this in our calculator we will arrive at the answer of 3,600 seconds. Okay, so sir, paano po nangyari na 3,600 uh, 36,600 seconds by typing uh, 10 multiplied to multiplied to 3,600 over 1 hour we can get our answer of 3,600. Basic na basic. Well, do, to those students na hindi alam or hindi kayang tukuyin ang direct conversion of seconds to hours. Pwede naman natin idaan siya ng hours to minutes then minutes to seconds. So, here it goes. 10 hours multiplied to 60 minutes per hour, per one hour or in one hour. That is the exact amount of minutes to hours. And then, another thing is you have to multiply the minutes to seconds and divide it also by it uh, equivalent in minutes equivalent value in minutes okay so we have 10 hours and then here it goes 
cancel natin yung hours and also yung minutes natin mga cancel which is may matitira sa atin na seconds and when we compute this one we will arrive at the same answer of 3,600 okay so sir paano po nangyari yan we have 10 multiplied to 60 all over 1 60 minutes over 1 minute and also another multiplication of 60 uh, seconds in 1 minute okay, so we can we will arrive at the uh, our answer of 36,000 seconds so we have the same answers with different methods so basically wala namang magiging problema dyan direct substitution or direct conversion lang natin yan from hours to seconds so let's move on to a little bit difficult situation which is the meters per second to kilometers per hour so sir paano po mangyayari yan so we have the, this example of 12 meters per second to kilometers per hour Okay, so let's write 12 meters per second. So in this manner, kailangan muna natin mag-cancel uh, ng one unit uh, at a time. So dito is, guys, medyo nagkaroon lang ng konting uh, pagkakaiba. So here is the 12 meters per second multiplied to 1 kilometer all over 1,000 meters. Sir, bakit po nangyari ganun? So the equivalent of 1 kilometer two meters is 1000 1000 meters so so dito makakancel natin si meters and if we go if we're going to multiply again the second since our second is our divisor ang mangyayari sa atin is we have to multiply it to seconds para makancel natin yung second unit natin and ang matira na lang sa atin is yung uh, kilometer per hour so we can see it here in here that we can cancel the uh, meter since one is uh, the divisor and one uh, and the other one is a uh, dividend so we can cancel it out same goes for the second we can cancel it out and we will rem uh, we will have remaining units of kilometers per hour okay so when we compute this one we will arrive at the answer of 43.2 kilometers per hour so you have a doubt so let's give it a try we solve that in and we can see this one uh, appearing that we have the answer of uh, 43.2 kilometers per hour okay so 12 multiplied to 1 over uh, 1000 and last column is 3,600 all over 1. So, we will arrive at the answer of 216 all over 5. But then again, we have the answer of 43.2. And how are we going to that? By clicking here S to D, this one. Okay, so have you seen it? S D. 43.2 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's how you uh, convert unit uh, to two units uh, conversion of two units okay so the next example or the last example is the three or the centimeter per second square two inches per uh, minute square or square minute so dito medyo tricky medyo mahirap to so but then again we just have to uh, cancel the units one by one. Okay ba? Okay, so here it goes. 3 centimeters per second square multiplied to inches per cm. Mapapansin nyo dito is hindi direct yung ating value of uh, inches to centimeters unlike the kilometers to meters. So since this the other one is from the English and the other one is from the metric. So, hindi talaga sila magkakapareho. Dahil alam naman natin the English measurement normally consists of body parts and talagang hindi sila sumasakto. Hindi sila fix. I mean, hindi sila sumasakto ng uh, 10, 10 meters or 100 meters or, or something like that. Unlike for the metric na by hundreds, by thousands, sumasakto sila. 
So here it goes. So in here we can cancel. Uh, uh, we will be dividing the one inch to 2.54 centimeters. Uh, one inch is equivalent. One inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. And so if we multiply it, we can cancel centimeters. A uh, unit centimeter para para mawala yung ating centimeter unit and maremain yung inches inch unit and so sir paano naman po yung second square so if there is a sec if, if there is a square we have to multiply uh, the, the seconds or the minutes uh, into square para mag-arrive tayo sa answer para magkaroon tayo din ng unit na a square so we can see it in here we can cancel first the centimeter uh, because since one is the divisor and one is the dividend and since makikita natin na naka square yung ating second sa ilalim we ought to uh, place second uh, uh, square sa parenthesis ng 60 second all over 1 minute so since magkakaroon siya ng square its units will also become square also the minute will be in squared so we can cancel out the seconds we can cancel out the second second square and uh, the remaining uh, units will be inches per uh, minutes per or square minute yan makikita natin yung inches and uh, inch and minute so we will arrive at the answer of 42 100 or 4,252 inches per minute. Okay, so let's try to solve it in our calculator. Okay, so we have here 3 times 1 all over 2.54 cm. And again, multiply, mag multiply pa tayo ng 60 over one pero this time naka square na tayo okay so wait yeah naka square na tayo so in this manner we can uh, easily get the answer of 40 4251.96 but since uh, it is so close into being a whole number of 42 4252 inches per per square minute we might ought to write it as a whole number of 4,252 inches per square minute. Okay, guys. So, ayan. I hope na nakita ninyo na useful itong aking naging klase sa inyo. And I hope, guys, na, na nakatulong ako sa inyo kahit pa paano. And, um, yun nga. If you find it interesting. I hope na bumalik kayo dito sa channel para makatulong ako kahit pa paano sa inyo. So, this is it guys. Thank you for watching my first ever video. And I hope na naging malaking part ito, na naging, naging, naging malaking tulong, naging, naging malaking reminder ito para sa mga kukuha ng board exams, kukuha ng uh, konting civil service exam. I don't know if there will be civil service exams na uh, may kasamang uh, gantong conversion of units but this will be very helpful to those who are in senior high G12 senior high the graduating students and also to those who are in the engineering uh, journey so thank you guys I hope naging malaking tulong ito so thank you guys and I hope na uh, you find this useful thank you